So back into the XC directory. Okay, and back to the installation page. Copy our two patch files again. Better check our environment variables are still set and they are. <clears throat> That's fine. So I'm going to recall the command to save having to um, build it up again. So if I look for Control R and do something like um, DOS Mesa. I'm just going to check this one. It's got the test true on the end and it finishes with the two um, dots. So it finishes just, just here before the unsetting of the environment variables. So let's run that in and see what happens this time. Okay, so it's happy now. It's got the AMD GPU, so obviously that's a requirement rather than an option. And now I've got an error saying Wayland Scanner not found. Now, Wayland Scanner is actually part of a recommendation rather than a um, rec uh, so yeah, recommendation rather than required. We do need it anyway for Plasma and GTK. Um, so whether one of the options, for example, maybe the Intel needs it or the AMD GPU needs it. So unfortunately, um, we're going to have to start again. In fact, what I could do is just delete the build directory, actually. Don't need to keep extracting these. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Build, I'll leave the rest of that there. Let's go and find the widened protocols. And that needs Wayland. This needs DevXML and a few other odds and sods. So Wayland's got to be a rebuild. <laughs> After well, I'll just put Doxygen Graphics, I think. So um, let's go back up to because it says Wayland's a general library, it's under general library. Um, so this is chapter nine. <coughs> So I'll go to our second terminal and go up a couple of pages to part nine. There's Wayland there. And download it. So there's nothing In addition to this, we can't do the documentation because we haven't got the optional dependencies, so we'll just 
take the configure and make as it is. it in and run it. Now let's do a make check. Okay, we've got some failures. Test contest. Uh, well, whether these are to do with the optional um, packages not being installed, because the requirement libxml we've definitely got that's definitely been installed, and I'll just check libxml two. Yeah, that's definitely been installed. So we're going to have to continue and see what happens. Let's see test suite. Let's have a look at test suite. Look, see if there's any further information. Uh, now it's possible that. It needs be needs a um, XTG runtime. To, yeah, it's possible it needs more or further X Windows configura uh, X or configuration. So it could be why it's failed. So let's carry on. And install it. There's no configuration, no. <clears throat> In theory, after we install any library, we should be doing an LD config to make sure the libraries are, are registered. So um, some installs do that and some don't. So there's our Wayland scanner in theory, it should be all we need, but the dependency was on the Wayland protocols. So let's shut this one down and go to Wayland protocols and download that package. So straightforward configure and make and install. So it's done. Let's run make check. Well, that's passed okay. And sudo minus e make it install, and that's done. So let's go back to XC now and back into Misa. Uh, we can get rid of that and have yet another go at building Misa. So I'm going to recall the mkdir command and let's have another go at configuring this. Okay, I've got some warnings but at least it's at last got to the end of the configure. Let's just take a look see what it's complained about. So it's got the Wayland scanner that it needed, it was complaining about, it's found X11, so it's basically looking for all the XORG libraries we've been installing up to now. 
sensors is an option so that will come in when um, we rebuild this package by the target Chris. so it looks like possibly Gres 1 and 2 is not I know it's, it's just saying that the, something's been set um, Python 3 So prefix is correct, lib does correct, include does correct. Oh yes, it has found Gles 1 and 2, so that's okay. It's got the uh, OS Mesophagallium, DRM, DRR drivers on on 6.5. It's going to build EGL as well. Vulcan drivers, AMD and Intel. Gallium drivers 915, so that's okay. It's actually picked them up, so this looks like. This was more visual. Looks like it's ready to go. So we need to unset these drivers, uh, these variables, sorry. So unset Canium GRV and DRI drivers and let's see how long this takes.
Right, so that has built, so we'll run the tests. And that's all passed. So now we can we put the documentation in. Yeah, it looks like there's no dependencies to generate documentation. So I think can copy that. Uh, sorry, let's install it next. Um, sudo minus e ninja install. Now we can install the documentation. Uh, as the root. And that should be that, that last few hiccups, but um, just a bit of methodical way of going around things and should be able to um, get past any problems. So tidy that up. And I'll just mark off the two Waylands we installed. I've got to do that. And go back to the Xorg. chapter and Markov Mesa and we can move on to X-bit maps. <laughs> 